So we see here, there are a lot of options in the Cisco Packet Tracer. So let's look at them one by one. So basically there are a lot of devices. Uh, among devices, you have network devices, you have end devices. End devices are usually computers, servers that basically communicate over the network and the network devices are the ones which make communication possible. Then you have new kind of devices like IoT devices, smart sensors, smart doors, smart furnaces, furnaces and all of those kind of devices then each device has uh, different kind of interfaces like the physical interface, the user and the configuration interface, which we'll be looking at soon. Then there are different kinds of connections. By connections, we mean uh, wires. So we have optical fibers, we have uh, LAN cables, which are basically twisted pair copper wires. And then on the simulation uh, engine itself, which is our Cisco packet tracer, we have modes of simulations. Now we'll be talking more about these uh, as we go further. So let's go back to Packet Tracer and let's look at uh, what are the different devices and how what are the different interfaces there. So if you look on the bottom left corner of the screen, so you can see uh, network devices, all these icons here, end devices, network devices. So when you click on network devices, there are certain routers which are shown here. So all you have to do is just pick one, drop it here, and that's how you place a router. If you click on the router, you'll be able to see the router here. So let's zoom in and see how it looks like. So here is a switch, here are different ports of the router. So this is what we call the physical appearance of a router. And you could cho choose between different kind of interfaces you want to put on the router. For example, we have this empty slot here, and we have, say we want four more ethernet ports. So we can just drag and drop, Okay, so you need to, to switch off the router before adding any of the ports. So you switch off the router, you add these ports and they get added. So now you have four more ports on the router. So this is how actually the Cis original Cisco router uh, looks like. There are a number of them, different models over here. Then you have the different windows that we were talking about. So one of them is the configuration window. Yeah, to do any configuration, the router must be switched on. So as you go into the configuration window, what you see is these trailing hashtags. So that means the router is booting up. So this is how a router's uh, command line interface actually looks like. So if you uh, log into a router using a console cable and uh, use a terminal on your uh, PC, so that's how basically uh, how a router looks like. So here you have all the different settings of a router, the router's name, host number, the different type of routing properties, the different network addresses, all the things that you could configure inside those. And then you have the command line, which actually simulates how a router's command line look, looks like. So let's go ahead and close this and let's look at say an end device. So we can pick a PC over here, drag it here. And when we click over it, you see the physical appearance of the PC. Then if you go to the configuration here, you can change the settings of the, uh, the network adapter of the PC. Then if you look, go to the desktop, it gives you all the kind of uh, softwares that are available usually on desktops. For example, you have this place where you can con configure the IP address of the desktop. This is just like a standard web browser. So you type a URL and based on the URL, it will go and contact the server in your uh, virtual uh, network. So why not let's go and see uh, actual uh, network that has been configured on Cisco Packet 